more Jordan Canonical for him. And I have the AC running, so that's why there might be a buzz in the background. I have, I actually have this nifty little mic now. Um, and it picks up sound really freaking well. And I'm sorry, it's like 90, like 94 in Philly today. I mean, you, I'm like sweating my, sweating, sweating in some areas where you don't really like sweat being. And so, you know, I'm got to turn on the AC, got to stay a little comfortable. Uh, I had it off for the last video. It was like, I actually did do two takes on that video, so it was actually like an hour of no AC. So, please let me live. Um, uh, you know, if this if it sounds, I know I, I had the AC on in previous videos as well without mentioning explicitly, but bah, who cares? You guys will deal with it. So, all right, more Jordan Canonical form. Uh, what are we doing now? I don't know. Wait, let me pull up the what I wanted to do. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Okay, so, uh, still Jordan Canonical form. This is not the color pen I want. And Take this matrix, then A is uh, negative 1, negative 2, 1, 3, negative 5, 1, 2, 0, negative 3. So funny story, I was actually recording this problem uh, when I realized I made a massive mistake on the previous one. And I had to delete that recording and redo it. So that's why I recorded that video like four or five times. Uh, anyways, let's not deal with the characteristic polynomial. Uh, it's lambda plus 3, or lambda, yeah, yeah plus 3. Sure. Lambda plus 3 cubed. Um, and, you know, then lambda is equal to 3 with multiplicity 3. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, step one of the thing was to deal with the... Uh, uh, to deal with the one by one, uh, like, the, the non-repeated eigenvalues, but they don't exist here, so we just gotta deal with... go to step two and deal with this guy instead. So, lambda is actually equal to negative 3, not positive 3, my bad. So, lambda is equal to negative 3, and I get this following matrix then. 2, negative 2, 1. 3, negative 2, 1. 2, 0, 0. All right. And, okay, so what do I do? So remember, we've got to take into account the multiplicity, which is 3. And then we've got to take into account of the nullity of this matrix. And what's the nullity of this matrix? The nullity of this matrix is actually 1, right? By the rank nullity theorem. So if you reduce this guy, you actually get like 2, negative 2, 1. 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, and then, like, he, this guy just goes to 0 on the bottom, right? And so, yeah, um, you know, yeah, so that goes to 0, okay. And so the rank is 2, which means the nullity has to be 1. Rank nullity theorem, mm -hmm. Rank plus nullity equals number of columns, right? Okay, so, uh, yeah, the nullity is 1. So what does that mean? So remember, uh, this part we bring back our J matrix, not our S matrix, uh, so we bring over J matrix, and so the multiplicity tells me that I have a massive three by three block. Well, it's not really, it's the biggest you'll probably see. And what does nullity tell me? The nullity tells me how many blocks I split that three by three block up into. Well, guess how many blocks that is in this case? It's one. So we just keep the whole entire damn three by three block, right? So we just keep the damn three by three block because I only got one block I can split it up into, and it, it has to cover a three by three dimension, All right? So cool. Uh, and if you remember with J, uh, with J, since we're not splitting this into small blocks, you, you actually can just figure out what J is, right? J is going to be the eigenvalues on the diagonal, right? Negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, okay? So remember, in the previous video, cover this, but eigenvalues on the diagonal, right? Okay. And what? And in the block, you have to put a 1 right above uh, the diagonal. So that means I need to put a 1 here, and I need to put a 1 here. Now, don't go crazy and say, ha-ha! That's, that's, no. Directly above the diagonal. That's it, that's it. No, no, just, 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 just the diagonal. Just the first, you know, the first entry above the diagonal. We only need this guy, we only need this guy. So that's a zero, and these three are low. It's 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 an upper triangular matrix, so the lower tri uh, lower uh, left half is zero as well. Okay, so that's J. It's actually super easy. You 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 found J after you've done this, right? So okay, now what is S, right? So remember how we find S. We take the dimensions, which is three by three in this case, and now we gotta take two minus two, uh, or yeah, we gotta take lambda plus 3i in this case, right? This is a minus lambda i, which is equal to a plus 3i in this case. 
uh, and we gotta raise it to whatever power this is, and this is three, so you gotta cube it, and, uh, oh boy, uh, oh, well, here we go, uh, I'm just gonna, I actually don't have, I don't have this up, so I'm gonna plug in the matrix calculator. By the way, the most useful website that you can use is this right here. Aha, matrixcalc.org slash en. And so, <laughs> what, what is our matrix? Well, two, negative two, one, three, negative two, one, two, zero, zero, right? Uh, and then we want to raise it to the power of three. Aha! Look, uh, you're not gonna have this on like exam, you know. So actually, know how to multiply matrices, but you know on homework, uh, you know there's a little bit of a wink wink going on. It's like you, you only have to do this so many times. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, let's raise it to the power of three. Oh, you get a zero matrix. Big surprise, you get the zero matrix. Oh, it's equal to the zero matrix. Ah. Yeah, it, 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 it usually will work out that way. All right. Now you have to square it as well because why? Let's consider our S matrix. Remember a good buddy S, right? Remember a good buddy the S matrix? Uh, yeah, from the, from the previous video. Remember what I did with the S matrix? I was like, okay, so here's my gigantic three by three block. This last row, uh, last column is gonna correspond to a VG, right? And then I said the column next to it is gonna correspond to an A minus two I v times VG. But that was when the block was two by two. What the hell do I do when the block is three by three? Well, I kind of gave it away, right? You're scoring something here. Yeah, so, right. You have to take this guy and you have to do A minus, A plus three I in our case, right? My, my lambda changed. It's lambda's negative three now. A plus three I, so A plus three I squared vg okay okay so you, you know you know square squaring these matrices out and yeah, just do it um so uh, you know i'm just gonna use the i'm just gonna use the matrix calc dot org two all right there you go so oops there you go uh, so this was what two negative two one Four negative four two zero zero zero. Okay, and and then we have you have the original guy. Um, oh, okay. Well, right. This is a plus three i squared is equal to, and this is a plus three i is equal to. Okay, right. And then three negative two one two zero zero. Okay. So what is vg? Vg makes this guy equal to zero. Well, that's gonna be literally everything, okay? So VG can like literally almost be anything right now. What do we have to make sure? We have to make sure that VG times this guy is not zero, and we also have to make sure that VG times this bottom guy is also not zero, okay? And, alrighty, uh, so what do I do? Well, VG, uh, it, 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 it pretty much can be anything. And so, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one zero zero. Okay, you know, who doesn't love themselves good? Good old simplest, you know, standard basis of R three E one, like the first standard basis vector of R three. It just, just makes a lot of sense to choose it, right? So, all right, so take that times one zero zero zero, and uh, so this is a minus three i squared, and I get zero two four, right? I get the first column of a minus three i squared back, and so got to be careful right because this guy is squared so it goes here in the first column not the second column uh this this happens a lot to people it happens to me too but just just be careful of where you put your vectors where you put your uh generalized eigenvectors and then uh of course one zero zero goes here okay and now uh, uh i have vg times uh, a plus 3i, and so that's going to equal 2, 3, 2, 
and that's going to then go in the second column. Two, three, two. All right, and you're done. So you have S, you have J. Let's zoom out a little bit. I've been running huge. Um, so here's S, here's J. You're done. You have S and J. Uh, yeah. So this was different because there's a three by three. As you get progressively larger, right? If you have like a six by six, uh, you know how this was like A minus uh, A plus three I squared V G. Then you know you just keep on going out. You eventually get up to like A plus like lambda A minus. A plus, like, if you had a 6 by 6 matrix, then you eventually end up with, like, A minus lambda I to the uh, fifth VG, right? Because here's a 3 by 3, only on a squared. So for a 6 by 6, um, if this entire Jordan block was 6 by 6, right? So, yeah, you just keep on adding powers. Go to the left, add more powers. Um, you get the idea. We've done a 3 by 3 block. We've done a 2 by 2 block and a 1 by 1 block above. Uh, go watch these videos again. If you're still confused on Jordan Canonical form, these should be like the only things that ever show up. Uh, I guess another thing that shows up is if um, if you have a repeated eigenvalue, right? So let's say I had like lambda equals. So for so let's say I had a hypothetical case where uh, let's say I had a hypothetical case where like lambda was equal to like uh, 733, right? Um, with multiplicity like four. Right, um, but what happens if a minus lambda i, in this case, a minus 733i, right? What if the nullity of a minus 733i was equal to four? Well, then you'd have a four by four block, but you'd have to break it up into four pieces, right? You have to break it up into four pieces. And you have to end up with one by one blocks. Well, guess what? What were one by one blocks? One by one blocks. This is just a diagonal matrix. All of a sudden, right? And all of a sudden, you're just dealing with eigenvectors. So if nullity, if if nullity is equal to multiplicity, you're just dealing with eigenvectors. You're not dealing with generalized eigenvectors. I mean, ge eigenvectors are generalized eigenvectors, but you don't have to go like find a generalized eigenvector, right? You just have to deal with the tried and true SDS inverse. So again, or, or for that block, you just have to diagonalize it. So again, nullity equals multiplicity means that you don't have to do this weird block thing. It just means that you just need to put your eigenvalues on the diagonal eigenvalues on the diagonal here and then and then find your eigenvectors accordingly okay so that's enough theory for this plug and chug series i'm done let's move on to finding the exponentials of these guys and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna cheapskate a little bit i think i'm just gonna use this example for now but that's in the next video